Howdy folks, welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. It is winter here in year 11. So we were in spring, I think last episode. I've gone on to winter and just been working around the village, doing some things. I got some buildings upgraded. Um, I can't remember exactly where I left off, but uh, we got the workshop upgraded, the barn upgraded, both the smithies upgraded. Uh, I've got another house. And we gained another guy from a wife quest who is, uh, I think he's a level six hunter. So I shuffled some people around, put him in the hunting lodge. But uh, like I mentioned, I want to go ahead and redo all the farm fields. So I've deleted all of the farm fields and I've deleted all the roads all over through here. Uh, went through a bronze hammer or two. <laughs> it was a lot of road deleting. It took a long time. But I kind of wanted to get uh, some consistent sizes, stuff like that, and also do some decoration, just to make it look a little more, a little more like a you know a lived-in village with with actual fields. Did I remember to grab any sticks? I have some. Yeah, I've got some from tearing down something. Oh, that's right. I tore down the uh, the farm shed that was sitting over there. And so let's let's throw up a fence real quick. If we just do a stick fence. So we can basically come to this corner. I think I'll just put a fence all up along here. Get over about that far and then just come over like that. We got little uh little dater there checking things out. It's all one at entrance to the field. So let's go to destroy, let's knock out that one. Yeah, you got a cool rattle. That's nice. <laughs> I'll build these uh, the fences later. So then if we come over from here, get pretty well lined up. It's not gonna let me go along the road. A little too far into the road, it looks like. All right, fair enough. Get rid of that. Oops. The right buttons here. So let's come in. Something like that. And then we can go along the road. Maybe. Eh, sort of. Sort of, kind of. A little tricky around these built-in roads because you can't really see you know, where they're at like you can your own roads. But something like that. And then I want to do fields inside here. So let's take a look. And like I said, I deleted all the fields. So we need, uh, we need for sure we need oats and rye to make the animal food. And then I think I'm going to just do carrots for stew. And stop doing the carrots and onions. Just to simplify things a bit. So if we go to buildings, farming, field. And we can stick corner there so what is the is it 16 yeah 16 is the maximum I think so if we do a 11 we can kind of split them here so if we do a no, we can't quite do that because of that. We can do a uh, 77. That'll work. Put that there, and then we're going to have another field right next to it. Uh, field. Oh, we can't quite do 11. All right, fair enough. We can do a 
A 60, though. And then that leaves us a walking path here, so that's not, not a bad thing. Oh, I didn't... I was supposed to come over. I didn't come over far enough. Go away. <laughs> supposed to do 70, not a 60. 7 by 10. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Alright, then over here, can we do a bigger field? So I'm debating on, should I have fence? I think I may just have fence around like the whole, the whole thing rather than fence around every single field. Uh, let's go back to build. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, he's just hoeing it up. Okay, I was like, there's nothing... There's nothing there. He's just preparing it. Gotcha. We're good. So how far down can I come with, a, like, a big field? Got some kind of... Almost a problem there flashed up. Alright, buildings, farming, field, and then we go... I kind of like to do a... Ten? Right, where's my ten? A ten by ten would be to there. And I think we'll come down as far as we can go. So we can come down to... Oh, well, let's see. So a six by sixteen would be, what, a ninety-six? That's a pretty good sized field. Let's do that. And then can I do a... I don't know if I can do another 6x16. Six let's see how big we can get. This is not going to be perfect because we got the slanted road there. Causing issues. Do a oh, it's gonna let me do a six by thirteen. Hmm, it's gonna be kind of narrow, isn't it? Be a six by twelve would be seventy two. Seventy eight. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we got people's out working the fields, so that's cool. Okay, so this one was uh, we got production problems. What's happening? Oh, the kitchen, right? It's running out of stuff, out of onions, so we can't do that anymore. Put you on pottage for now. We'll get this cabbage used up. Here we go. And you are also out of onions. I think my other kitchen is just making stew. So that will also put you on pottage. Potage. Something like that. Alright, so field wise. Uh, oh, it doesn't tell me how big they are, does it? So we got a 19, so we can go kind of on tax size. I think we should do oats and rye on these two big ones. So if we do oats, so it doesn't tell me how big it is, is it? Is 
That was 77. All right, so we'll do that as oats. I'll just call it oat. And then this one we'll do as rye. Interface is a little clunky. Okay. Get those rolling. Now who's out of stuff? The smithy. What are you out of? I had you doing extra something. I got a 10. I had him do an extra 10. So now he's out of 10. So we'll back that off. We'll let the mine catch up for a little bit. And then we'll match it to the mine output. I had a big backlog of 10. I've been working on basically this whole year. Starting to get some of the numbers actually dialed in. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Going off actual math. All right, so if we go back to our fields, this is another pretty pretty good size one. So let's have this one be uh, carrots. Or just, I guess we're going singular, carrot. And then I think they can plant carrots in the winter, so they should get that hopefully planted. We'll see how far behind this makes. But uh, we had plenty of stuff, so we're going to be good. So that's really all we need. But I might also do some... I'll do wheat for... Uh... Then I, think, I think we might just stick with that for now. Well, I don't know. I'm, I am. I was selling some stuff. Maybe I should do a cabbage field as kind of an emergency. Yeah, let's put this in as cabbage for emergency stuff. In case I mess something up, have this as a fallback for food. That'd be a lot of cabbage. If nothing else, we can always make uh, pottage and sell it. There we go. Now we got uh, our oats, rye, carrots, and cabbage. We don't have a windmill yet. I might grow, start growing wheat and doing more bread when we get a windmill. There we go. Now I just need to hammer in that fence, but I can do that off camera. Speaking of uh, selling stuff, the market stalls have been doing fantastic. You can see I've got 52,000. We're, uh, we're doing all right for cash. But let me give you a quick tour here. I built another house for that new hunter we got. And we also have the builder's hut. I got that unlocked and got that built. And some of you had mentioned in the comments that you can't just set it to automatically repair stuff. And that is true. So what it looks like is that when you have buildings that need repaired, you come in here and assign the builder to it. I think that's how that works. Uh, let's see what else. I think I got... I didn't get this insulated, but I got that one all built and insulated and shutters on. Decorated inside, so they're all happy. Uh, let's run back down through. Whee! I uh, got a few more lights put up. And like I said, I upgraded the smithies. Oops, wrong button. Uh, so they're stone wall now, plank roof. So they are smithy threes. Which I think means we can do... I think we can do iron now. Yeah, we can do iron now. So that's cool. I uh, Sorry, Blaze. That was my bad. <laughs> uh, the barn is also a barn three now. You can see it's stone wall, plank roof. And I got some more lights put in along here. And we need to stop by the uh, food storage because I'm about to pass out from hunger here. So what have we got food-wise? We have a bunch of roasted meat. And we have more roasted meat than I could 
ever need. So we have tons of meat coming in. I might have to tone the uh, hunters down a little bit. All right, let's have a couple drinks of water. Eat all of our roasted meat. I need actually another bucket. I've been trying to dial in the water. But I'm a little confused by, by the water. We'll put the bucket back in the storage. Because I was looking at the numbers, and it's, it looked like we only needed eight buckets of water a day. So I think I was way oversupplying the village. But I'm not 100% sure that's the case. Let me just throw all this stuff in there. I'm going to need those sticks. I'm not sure where that wine bottle came from. You grab, I'm gonna need that bunch of sticks. I'm gonna grab like 300 sticks. And I can carry another 20 kilograms. How about some dob? I'm not sure how many I'll need for this building. Let's go ahead and slate that real quick. Main mission was accomplished. We got the farm fields in. I just need to do some housekeeping a little bit here. So let's get this thing insulated. I'm trying to keep everything top notch. It helps on the wear and tear. But I've gone through at least two bronze hammers doing all the stuff in the village. So I'm glad I went with the bronze hammer because. Uh, I don't know how many wood hammers that would have been. It would have been a lot. Uh, I almost froze to death. I forgot to put my winter clothes on first day of winter. And uh, I started riding over to Tutki to do the wife quest. I'm like, man, why am I down to half health? You know, I was doing my usual bang up job of paying attention to what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I was freezing to death. So... All right, we need four, we need 12, is that it? 12 more dob. So I had to come back and get my clothes and get all warmed up. And... Oh, I didn't insulate the smithies. We gotta do that too, I forgot about that. I insulated the new houses. Oh, I didn't insulate any of the new workshop buildings. Well, shoot, I got my work cut out for me. All right, I need 12 more of these, and I'm going to put these sticks. I'll do the sticks off camera. That's boring, just watching me bang sticks into a fence for 10 minutes. Uh, how are we doing on limestone? We're doing good on limestone. Let's grab, I know I can carry about 70-ish. Ooh, that's a little, it's a little rough. We just have to go next door for the first part of it. I do miss the uh, the one-click build, but then it's cool doing it this way because then I can use my perks that I have. So you can see that second time, oops, the second time I start swinging a lot quicker. Come on, there we go. Got to find the right magic pixel. And there goes another another bronze hammer, bites the dust. That's why I made an extra one. So I've got all these stone walls to insulate. So I don't guess I have to do it nighttime. Maybe I should go sleep. Actually have some daytime. Kind of curious if we get some broken buildings overnight. I want to see how that builder's that works. I haven't got to use it yet. Let me get this wall in and then uh, we'll go sleep. Tackle a new day. You get some more of these lanterns. I really like to look at the lanterns at night. And something I noticed, you can open these and then it seems to like save whether they're open or not. So I'm going to open some of these. Not every single one, but I'll open some of them. Pretty sure it saves. So let's go look at the front of my house. I opened the two on the front of my house. Yeah, they're open. So it saves the state of the shutters. So that's kind of cool. Let's get at least one of these open. Oh, they don't have lights yet. I gotta get. I gotta get busy. 
But uh, those lanterns in the village, they're, they're kind of pricey. Uh, as far as like wool thread. Because it takes, I think, does it take eight wool to make a thread? So it takes like 32 wool for each lantern. Am I thinking of that wrong? Uh, oh, I had this turned off because I ran out of wool. Yeah, it takes eight wool to make a thread. So I'm going to turn that back on. I need at least 2.39. So let's crank that back up to 3% and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I forgot to show you, but the, the coins from the market stalls go into your resource storage. They don't go into your inventory. So I was like, man, I'm just not making any money off these stalls. Well, it's because I forgot to go get it out of the resource building. So. Nice uh, frosty winter morning here. Let's go get these buildings insulated. So yeah, this is the kind of exciting stuff I've been doing. It takes a lot of time. That's why uh, I put out a community post. But in case you didn't see the community post and you're watching this. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do daily videos on this anymore. There's just too much time has to pass. So the videos, I'm still going to put out videos on this. The plan is to go and play as my heir. That'll be like the end game. Old, uh, was it, was it uh, Radagast? Already forgot my son's name. Don't tell him. <laughs> I'll take a quick look here. I think it's Rada. Radagast, something like that. Where are you, buddy? Yeah, Radagast. There he is. He's only four. I think he has to be 18 before I can, like, play as him. So we got 14 more years to go. <laughs> we'll see if I can get there. But what I'm going to do is, you know, I'll be, I'll be playing this as I have time. And then I'll just do videos, you know, maybe once a week. We'll just, I don't know how much I'm going to get done. But there will still be videos coming out for those of you that are enjoying the series. It just won't be every day because it's kind of getting on towards the end game. Things are slowing down. Let's grab another 70 of that. I can waddle out of here. Okay, I got those upgraded. We just need to get the barn done. Uh, we got the workshop down there. Village is really coming together. I've lost my perk, so I gotta build a thing. There we go. We got the perk back. Swings a little faster. These buildings are pretty easy to upgrade now that we've got you know tons of resources flowing in. They're pretty close to the resource storage. That's why I built that new house right next to it. We're not going to need to build too many more houses. Although I might build uh, an extra. If I get the time, I might build an extra house and then go through each of these. I don't know. Do I have to move them out? I'll have to see. I might want to upgrade all these roofs at the top tier now that we have lots and lots of planks. We'll see. I think we're getting fairly close to food storage three, which I assume would be stone. Seems to be kind of the trend. Surprisingly, the builder's hut was just sticks and thatch. You know, it takes you so long to unlock it, I was expecting something kind of epic. Sometimes the NPCs run into each other. Make funny noises. All right, we need more limestone. Um, did I show the hops? I, I planted some hops. I don't remember if I showed that. Got those growing. So eventually we'll unlock the tavern if we get that far. We'll need the hops and the, uh, the honey and stuff. What are you doing in here, bud? Okay. He's just chilling. Uh, what was I going? Oh, I was going to insulate the, uh, thing. I think I got that done, didn't I? 
It's late at night on a Friday. My my brain is fried from work. It's been a long week. I've already forgotten what I did at the beginning, at the beginning of the video. <laughs> I think I already insulated the builder set. Pretty sure I did. I think everything, yeah, everything up here is good to go. Yeah, we're good. All right. Just making sure I didn't forget. So we're back down to uh, two farm buildings, farm sheds. I didn't really need three. I made three so I could get one of them closer to the trees I planted in front of my old house. But we really didn't need three uh, farm sheds worth of workers. So I just eliminated one. Make it easier to put fields out. I've never made it to 100% dirty. That's like an achievement on Steam. Gotten close, but it, it forces you to bathe and it refills your food and hunger. Or food and hunger. Food and water. Every season change. So I haven't managed to get full stinky yet. Yay! Oh, we're not there yet. Darn it. Oh, you need daub for that. So that's wooden. Alright, so we do need eight daub. How dirty am I? We're only 46% dirty, so. Building fences seems to kind of get you dirty. I think strenuous activity is kind of the key. All right, I think we're done with the limestone. Let's grab B for Dob. Why oh, hit the sneeze button just in time? Might have blown your ears off. There we go. Beautiful. That's done. I think that's everything insulated. That's all the new buildings. Right? Did I build anything else? I don't think I built anything else. I think we're all good. Uh, no buildings got damaged. Nope. No buildings got damaged. So we can't check out the builder site quite yet. All right. Well, mission accomplished. We got the uh, farm fields redone. And they are working away on that. So that's cool. I need to go grab some sticks and build lots of fences. Where did the other farm shed end up being? Oh, it's over there on the corner. Right. So they have to walk a little ways to get to the fields. I think that'll be fine. So basically we have an entrance, you know, right there to come into the field area. Well, you can't see it because I don't have my hammer out. They can come in here to get into the fields. And I think that'll be fine. But I'm wondering, should I also have a, an entrance down here? Kind of halfway between. Would that make sense? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, destroy. Stick fence. Wink. There we go. And we can have openings on the other sides as we build them out. But anyway... New fields, everybody's busy. Thanks as always for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next adventure.